of Biotechnica. Welcome to another video. So today I'm going to talk about something interesting for all of you. Suppose if you are someone who are looking for a biotech opportunity in Korea or in Japan, then this video is definitely going to help you. I'll be talking about why these countries are considered as a biotech hub for all of us. So why there is a lot of job scope over there and what are the career opportunities that are available? Everything in one video. So come along with me and let's talk about this topic in detail. This is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So this video is definitely going to be for all the bachelor students, master's student, also for PhD graduate. So I'll be talking in this video the complete details whether you can land up in a job in Japan or in Korea. So first let's talk about Japan. So let's talk about the complete detail of Japan. What is going to be the future of biotechnology in Japan? So first let's talk about what is the future. Yes, when we have to talk about the future, we have to talk about after 10 years of period of time, how much is the uh, Japan going to be standing ahead in biotech industries. So Japanese government is started boosting up the biotech industries or the biotech universities or biotech students and they started funding a lot of research projects that are involved in biotechnology. Recent one is going to be the government has funded Okinawa Health Biotechnology Research and Developmental Center. Free research facilities are available for all the qualified biotechnologies which is an amazing thing that Japan has done so that we can avail the research facilities facilities that is available free of cost if a qualified biotech wanted to go over there. So this is a wonderful opportunity for people who would like to enter into a research field in Japan. That's why Japan and Korea are considered as the biotech hub in the entire world. What about the biotechnology field rank in case of Japan? So according to 2022, it is believed Japan is considered as the 15th greatest biotechnology market that's been going on in Japan. So they rank 15. And biotech business development and a lot of collaboration started taking place in Japan. When we have to talk about biotechnology companies in Japan, they have a lot of collaborations with the world countries also. So when it comes to business or when it comes to collaborations of biotechnology research or industries or companies, so Japan has a very greater impact. So if I have to talk about the future of biotechnology in Japan, of course, even after 10 to 15 years, this is going to be a greater future in Japan. Okay, the next question is biotech in demand in Japan? Yes, it is. So I'm going to talk about the growth rate that it's going to have, have it. So the growth rate of the Japanese biotechnology market is 7.9 percentage by 2025. By 2025, it is believed that the growth rate is going to increase to 7.9 percentage with an estimated value of 62.49 US billion dollars, which means, of course, biotechnology is going to be a greater demanding field if you can choose in case of Japan also. What is the average salary of a biotechnologist who will be earning this much in the Japan? So I'm going to show you some statistics also where you can see. So Japanese N of about 8,36,305, which is almost equal to that of some 45 lakhs or 40 to 45 lakhs. It comes around according to our Indian rupee. And they do provide some average bonus also, uh, 1,88,050 Japanese N. So you can see over here. So the lowest pay is considered almost 3,45,000 Japanese N. And the highest is considered more than one lakh we can say it's it's a very huge amount very specifically for the scientists they used to provide and this is going to be the average salary so i can say almost 8 lakh Japanese N you can get as a biotechnologist. That's why we are seeing a gradual difference of the salary package in Japan which gives maximum. And now if we have to talk about how much is the estimated salary that you can get in 2027 because we are talking about the future scenario of Japan by 2027 is biotechnology going to grow. Yes, it is also believed that you can see here after five years of change, like by 2027, it is believed that there is definitely going to be nine percentage salary increase is going to take place in biotechnologists who are working in Japan. So the estimated salary you can see previously, I told the Japanese end were almost eight lakh. And here you're seeing eight lakh seventy four thousand three hundred and fourteen Japanese end, which means 
definitely biotechnology is going to be a demanding field okay the next question comes for us is okay what should be the educational qualification like if i want to work in japan so do i have to complete only my bachelor's or my master's or do i have to complete my phd how people who have graduated bachelor's how much percentage they got this job so i'm going to talk about those scenarios also you can see it over here top two skills for biotechnology so you can see function analysis and determines action these two are very much considered and you can see over this image almost master students 45 percentage of master students got placed as a biotechnologist in japanese jobs biotech jobs so you can see doctoral students were only 11 percentage which means if you have your master's degree along with that if you're going to have some skills that you can work in a biotech sector then definitely go for a japanese government jobs or japanese biotech companies you can work as a biotechnology so master students work a lot maximum as a biotechnologist in japan so if you're a master student and if you would like to go and work in japan you can actually work but certain condition i'm going to tell you that you have to take into considerations okay the next one what are the job profiles that are available this is most important of course you know about the demand in the market but what are the profiles that are available for all of us so as i already mentioned a scientist usually earns a lot so you can see here a biological scientist earn maximum and there is a position called biological technicians biotechnologies as i mentioned biotechnology lead data manager position is also there these are the salary that's been listed here and clinical consultant clinical data manager clinical data specialist cras clinical research associate that you can work and clinical research manager and even sas programmer if you are someone who are interested in programming along uh, into any pharma or clinical research organization cro companies then definitely you can go for it if you are interested in computer science also they do provide a good salary if you're becoming a SaaS programmer in a uh, biotech industries or biopharma companies also and of course molecular and cell biologist usually gets this much salary so you can see these are the job profiles that are uh, available so you can go to the uh, in, um, industries or to the company portal and you can check for the job profiles and what are the requirements that they ask for and you can start applying for this the next com comes is bio tech companies if i have to talk about japan as i already mentioned it's going to be the biotech hub so 21 to 2022 you can see the directory of biotech startup companies has increased a lot so how many startup companies by 21 to 22 you can see is almost 1200 startup biotech companies have come into the market in japan and 395 companies are actually there so this is the report of complete details of all the companies that are available in the Japan. So I've listed few of them. There are many, many more. So you, you can see uh, Fisher and Acro Biosystems and Trilations, Luminous, Nidec. And there are so many companies uh, which are listed here. So these are the companies which are present in the Japan. The next important question what are the top companies that are very well versed in Japan? These are the five top companies that you can see, which is Cordia Therapeutics, Cords, which is referring to music. So it talks about the uh, harmony with the people that they usually go in for with sh shareholders and all. So it is in Fujisawa and they are drug manufacturers only. Heart Seat is also there. It is in the uh, Tokyo and they specially based on a stem cell therapy. If you're someone who would like to go for stem cell therapy, if you want some job, then you can go for Heart Seat and Luca Sciences. Here you're seeing Tokyo and this is therapy, therapy based on the mitochondria. They are actually doing it. And Modulus Discovery is another company, which is even in Boston, uh, US, even in Tokyo, they have. Uh, these are the headquarters I'm talking about and they are very specialized in drug delivery and drug discovery and then Noil Immune Biotech in Tokyo you can see and they work on T-cell therapies for cancers, scar T-cell therapies for cancers. So these are the top five companies in Japan that you can work for. Now we got to know, yes, there is a demand. What are the job profiles usually masters get along with a lot of experience or internship opportunity or if you're going to have skills, of course you get. The next question for us is as an Indian, 
how to hunt for a job in japan is it possible i'm going to tell you one thing suppose if you want to land up in a biotechnology job in japan the first important criteria is going to be you need to know the japanese language so you can learn a japanese language in india or you can do your uh, bachelor's degree abroad also uh, or very specifically in japan you can study your bachelor's degree or your master's degree after your bachelor's and master's degree you can take up an internship program in a research laboratory or in the companies and when you do very well in the internship of course if you're applying for any job profile which comes over there of course they're going to take you so that's the best way to enter into a biotech company in japan so this is how you can hunt for a job suppose if you are someone who are thinking no i have not ha had my graduation in japan but you have studied in india can i get an opportunity of course you have an opportunity what you can do is after studying upskill yourself and then learn japanese language after you have a japanese spoken language to speak in the company then they definitely hire you then you start applying for it or else work in a company that has a tie up with the japanese government or japanese companies that has tie up in india and work in the same company and the same company can allow you to go abroad in japan and you can work over there also these are the opportunity that you can go to japan and you can work you can work in a, a japanese tie up indian companies also and then you can go there and work also or else you can study in japan and then fetch a job in japan also earning as a biotechnologist so this is all about the japan the next comes korea what about korea so let's talk about the complete details of korea i'm going to talk about very specifically south korea so the future of biotech in korea how is it going to be even korea is considered as the biotech hub in the entire world so how is the market going to be so you can see korea's bio industry at turning point after pandemic after covid-19 pandemic if you see korea has drastically grown in case of biotechnology industry so after pandemic there's a very great turning point i can say because sk biosciences a company has produced korea's first covid-19 vaccine which is kaikovins so because of this the biotech sector started growing after this covid-19 pandemic and you can see south korea also encourages to grow green biotech industries to about 10.6 us billion by 2030 which means they started um, providing lot of job opportunities for biotechnologists which means south korea even uh, grows really well enough in biotechnology that's why south korea or korea is considered as the biotech hub in the entire world and of course they do have some business uh, development collaborations and biotech uh, collaborations they do have so of course if i have to talk about the future of biotech in korea very well versed it's going to be the biotech hub you can go for a job in korea also the next important question for us is what's going to be the average salary i'm going to compare japan with the korea as i already mentioned over there uh, here i told almost 40 lakh as an indian rupees you will get as a biotechnologist in japan here almost some 45 to 48 lakh as an average salary in case of an indian rupee if we have to talk about you can get it so here 42 to 48 lakh you can actually get along with a bonus so uh, korean won of 68 68 lakh for 443 and 112 you can actually get and if i have to talk about the complete average monthly salary you can see the low is going to be uh, korean won of this one and the highest is going to be uh, korean won of this one so this is the average value that we can talk about so of course almost 44 to 45 when i have to compare japan and korea almost the salary is a bit same but korea gives a little bit higher than uh, japan if you're going to have the skills now what's the estimated salary in 2027 so in 2027 as a biotechnologist how much you can get in uh, south korea see you can literally find the changes over there whereas in case of japan when i was talking about i told there is only 9 percentage salary hike will be there but in case of south korea i'm going to tell a wonderful thing 22 percentage salary hike is going to be there you can literally see the differences that i already showed over here so here it's almost 6 and here you're seeing almost 8 so which means 8 3 so almost 22 percentage uh, hike as a biotechnology salary is going to increase so if you're going to land up in korea by 2027 of course your salary package is definitely going to increase this is a survey so you can definitely go for a biotechnologist work at korea very specifically south korea and here you can see 
uh, educational qualification who gets maximum job like whether masters graduate or doctor or bachelors or high school or less than high school who's going to get you can see masters and bachelor students bachelor students get almost 32 percentage of biotechnology job and master students get almost 45 percentage of biotechnology jobs so if you are in your masters it is also good enough if you have your skill you can start working and you need to have the same skill as we mentioned for the japan also what are the job profiles that you can literally go for so i'm going to show you all the job profiles so associate medical affairs director biological scientist a biological technician these are the salary packages and biotechnologist biotechnology lead data manager clinical consultant sas programmers and cytology lab technician clinical research associate molecular and cellular biologist so these are some of the job profiles that are available in south korea also and most of the companies you can go in for it so if you have bachelor's or master's definitely you can go for it i would suggest if you're going to have a master's then it is very good enough here and these are the biotech companies that you can see here sk biosciences are the one who actually manufactured the korea's uh, first covid-19 vaccine so sk biosciences samsung biologics and yuhan corp and ligo chem biosciences one of course they have other companies uh, which are in korea also like johnson johnson thermo fisher scientific roche uh, fisher gsk of course all these companies are the top most companies that you can see in korea now the next question for us is how to hunt for a job in uh, korea i'm going to talk about how it is possible so if i have to talk about how you can get a job in korea is here also you need to know a korean language but it's not necessary like japan you need to learn when you are in india and then go for it so you can go over there and you can learn korean language also so if you're going to get a job in seoul the living expenses kind of uh, more so there are a lot of biotech companies which are present in seoul when we are talking about most of the places so how you can get a job is after completing your masters you can apply for the company if you have the skill then you would be recruited or else you can work in a korean based company companies in india and then you can fly to uh, korea and you can work over there if you work really well or else you can work um, uh, or else you can go in for your graduation in south korea uh, com uh, or we can say some colleges or universities and after that you go for an internship or project training in some biotech companies and after that you will be hired in the uh, same companies but whichever university you go in for and studying in korea or in for japan look in for whether they are very good enough in the biotechnology field so that you get an internship opportunities or anything else over there so today i've been talking about the biotech careers and opportunities in japan and korea which is considered as the biotech hub in the entire world so suppose if you are someone who are thinking japan and korea is going to be your destiny where you want to become a biotechnologist then look around to this and apply for the companies so i am sure that this video is helpful for all of you So if you find any questions or any sort of doubts that you have about it you're always welcome to put your questions or any sort of things in or in the comment section so we'll get back to you thank you all of you for your time and i'm going to meet you back again with another video thank you